Hey guys, Andy here. I uh, just wanted to do a quick webcam video to let you guys know I'm back in San Diego. I'm just uh, chilling in a hotel room uh, for the night, and then tomorrow I'm going to be checking into my ship, so <laughs> tomorrow's going to be uh, pretty busy for me, so yeah. <laughs> but at least I get one night of uh, relaxation before I have to uh, deal with all that. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able uh, to record a uh, coming back to San Diego uh, like a life in episode I guess where uh, normally what I do is uh, when I come back from leave I record a little bit of the uh, airports and stuff that I uh, go to on my way to San Diego but um, just because a lot of the flights were well, all the flights were back to back I didn't really have a lot of time to uh, sit there and record a little bit so uh, yeah, there's uh, no footage of that, so, um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, don't worry, I got a, a boatload of new videos um, already out, some of them are. Um, and I also have a bunch more uh, that are going to be released uh, throughout the week. Um, I already have them uh, all uploaded, I just got to get all the uh, info and stuff written out, and uh, stuff like that. So I uh, definitely look forward to that this week. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, you'll notice uh, maybe on a couple of my other channels I got some new videos, um, like uh, my channel Card Games on Helium. I released all of uh, the Season 1 episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge, Heliumized. <laughs> so if you want to check that out, uh, I'll put links and stuff for everything in the down bar. Um, I've also uh, finished editing and uh, releasing all of the uh, second season of First Impact Anime uh, while I was home on leave. Uh, the Talking Vidalkin and I, as well as special guest Haberdasher White, um, just marathoned a bunch of uh, various anime episodes and recorded it. And I spent like two or three days straight just editing, editing the episodes, rendering, and stuff like that. So um, uh, they're all already out, but I'm gonna release little preview videos on YouTube. So. Um, you guys can link to the full episode if you want to see the rest of it. Um, so that's pretty much where I am as far as uh, videos and stuff goes. Um, I've released almost all of my back catalog. I only have like two little uh, projects that I have to get out, but I'll probably get to those later just because they're uh, <laughs> they're they're pretty intense as far as like editing and uh, just rendering everything. So I'll probably get to those uh, later. But anyway. Um, all that updating newsy stuff aside, I wanted to uh, ask you guys a quick question. And that is, uh, what makes a J-Vlogger? Uh, and for those of you guys who don't really know what I'm talking about, um, generally speaking, uh, the general definition of a J-Vlogger is somebody who vlogs in Japan. Or about Japan. That's the, uh, the, the basic definition. But I, I wanted to know what you guys think as far as what makes a J-Vlogger a J-Vlogger. I mean, do they... Does simply vlogging in Japan make you a J-Vlogger? Does, you know... Can I talk about Japan here in America and does that make me a J-Vlogger? Um, I really want to hear what you guys have to say. And uh, to give you a little backstory on uh, the whole J-Vlogger thing as far as, you know, how I come to play, I guess. Um, most of you know that I uh, kind of, well not really kind of, I did emulate a lot of my uh, vlogging style and just how I edit things and how I do things based on a lot of uh, very early J vloggers like uh, Tokyo Kuni, Roger Swan, and uh, the like. <laughs> those are the main two. So um, those were uh, two of my very early YouTube influences as far as me making vlogs and stuff like that and uh, I guess the reason I did you know stuff like that and eventually like the life in series was basically you know I I couldn't really go to Japan for various reasons but I wanted to do that style of vlogging which uh, basically a lot of J vlogging episodes either talk about Japanese culture you know little Japanisms that are you know unique to Japan that may not be, you know, known in America or whatever. Um, or just simply talking about, you know, some of them have, you know, Japanese spouses, so 
some of them talk about what it's like to be married to somebody who's Japanese or you know some of them have you know also have kids too so they also talk about you know how their kids since you know they're half Japanese you know how they'll relate to the other Japanese kids you know when they go to school and stuff like that and what's like being raised in a bilingual family as far as you know generally speaking English and Japanese so um, those are uh, some of the videos that I've been watching as far as uh, J vloggers go and since I really couldn't go to Japan and show off all the cool you know Japanese stuff I still wanted to take that style of vlogging you know where it's just showing the area no matter where I was and just kind of applied it to wherever I was whether it's back home in uh, Salina Ohio or here in San Diego or you know just wherever I am so I kinda wanted to do like a basically just like a travel vlog is essentially what it is and uh, yeah that's you know what I've been doing as far as vlogging and stuff goes so um, I don't really know if that necessarily makes me a J vlogger because I don't really talk a whole lot about you know Japan or Japanese things on my vlogs you know it's a it's a really big interest of mine and a, the majority of videos I watch are from uh, vloggers in Japan but as far as you know the stuff I discuss on my channel it doesn't really bring it up too much really I mean I don't really bring it up too much in my videos you know I don't really talk about a lot of Japanese stuff so um, yeah <laughs> I guess I'm rambling so uh, just a quick little recap I just wanted to ask you guys um, what makes a J vlogger a J vlogger so yeah this is the Andy song Signing up for now. Thanking you guys for tuning in to this rambly webcam video. And also got to thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And uh, thank you guys again for uh, all the support, all the comments, uh, personal messages, and stuff like that. It really, <clears throat> excuse me, it really means a lot. So uh, just wanted to thank you guys for all that. So yeah, as always, we'll see you next time. Bye guys.